All right, welcome to ETN News. We're looking at the earthquakes and Hawaii. It's got a 2.3, 3.3 miles deep. This is down here around the Helena Fault System. That's the one we look at. And these over here, they're all down in the chambers. Okay, all those are in the chambers. This one here is 7.0 miles deep. 1.7 right on Kilauea. All right, not much going on over there, which, you know, not much else could go on. There's not too many quakes could happen before this breaks loose. Let's go look at something else. This is Alaska. Now, what we got here is I've talked about the Bering Strait. And, you know, they got the continents going together. Alaska will be meeting with Russia sooner or later. All right, the Bering Strait. And then you got this ridge, this volcanic ridge coming around. And, you know, like I always tell you before, where it goes, where it leads to, we'll go look at that. But this is increasing 3.3, 1.4 miles deep, 3.0 East Northeast of Wiseman, 0 0.1 miles deep, and we have this one at 2.8, and we've been having a lot of activity up here. So where does, does this fault lead? goes all the way around, and here's the activity in Alaska, not much going on. Let me show you here, 3.0, and that's a 4.0, but still not nothing significant. Okay, let's follow this fault. The main volcanic ridge comes right down through here, right down through McKenzie Mountains, and where does it go? Yellowstone. 3.1, 3.0 miles deep. That's about how deep the magma is, is about 3 miles. Used to be 6. But it's about three now before it comes to the surface. All right, got activity at Yellowstone. And we was looking for a 7.0 or greater to go around the plate. Now, around Mount Rainier, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 1.0 around Mount St. Helens. That's just a 1.2 up there. These down here in Nevada. Spot we've been watching around Beatty. These are very small quakes. This one here, 1.8 southeast of Bodie. It's right next to the Caldera. 2.4 west northwest of Belden, Belden, California, 1.5 miles deep. I don't know if I've seen one in, exactly in that spot. It may have been close. And we got this swarm around Nylan. Well, it's aftershocks, really. Because there's a 2.7 right there. And I think there was one a little bigger. I'll have to look at that in a moment. Gulf of California, 4.5. Explosion. Quarry blast. Oklahoma. Now look right here. This is in, in Massachusetts. There's Boston. You got this ridge that comes across from the Mid-Atlantic. It's pushing on it. And it's pushing over this way. And down in here is, you know, from this area up here, there has to be a, a big future quake pretty soon. Keep, you know, it keeps pushing. It's got to go somewhere. 2.0. West nor I mean west northwest of Loudon, New Hampshire, three point one miles deep. Okay, let's get a closer look on that. There's our earthquakes there and that earthquake we had in New York. One point seven, three point one miles deep. I was going to show you where that's located. Now, this is the map. 
and now we go over to the Google Earth. This was yesterday, but then we got down, go down here, and right in here is our quake. Think about right in here, around East River. You know, this is New York City, part of it. I mean, this is huge. Thousands and thousands upon thousands of houses. That is so bad, so dangerous, you know, so bad of a place to live. You got all this. I mean, that's just so many lives right there. When this get, does give over here, and you got this here, let me show you the fault. Okay, here we got this fault coming off, and it's coming in right here. Following it up, New York, Jersey, buy it, and go on up. Where does it lead us? Okay, it goes up in a curve. Where does this curve go? New York. I mean, right right in here. This one's heading right toward the land. This one's going this way. And you got two coming in right through here. You know, so that's a pretty, you know, big chance of the quake, the future big quake that we're looking at that will happen, you know, toward, it's, it's more of a chance toward New York. I know we got these sea mounts pushing over this way, so it could hit up toward Boston or somewhere like that. But this area right here, that's the area we're watching close. It has to happen one day. Now there's a quake in New York. And this one over here, let's go Boston. Let's go down through here and up toward Concord. Don't know exactly, you know, I'd have to zoom in, take a little bit more time to know exactly which spot. So we got all this coming in here, sea mounts, leads right over through here. And if, you know, right on to the Mid Atlantic Ridge, and if there's not a ridge going through there, then there wouldn't be sea mounts. So that's a volcanic ridge. Where does it go? Between New York and up toward Massachusetts. That's spooky. It really is. Now let's take a look at, uh, let me see, Canada earthquakes and see what they have reported seven hours ago, 4.0, southwest of the village of Queen Charlotte, British Columbia, and reported shaking near Sudbury, Ontario. And we got this 2.0 New Hampshire. They're reporting the same thing. Yellowstone, let's see what they're reporting on that. Okay, we've had some aftershocks, but I'd have to zoom in. Let me see here. Okay, they're not reporting the, yeah, there it is, 3.1. And then a 1.4. And Yellowstone, let's go look and see where that's located. This earthquake. Okay, here's our earthquake. 3.1, 3.0 miles deep. Here's Yellowstone Lake. And we got Mary Mountain. Hello, Geyser Basin and Purple Mountain up here. Let's see, Mary Mountain. Here's Murray Mountain, so the earthquake would be right in here around south of Gibbon Falls or a little bit southeast. You know, I'd have to pinpoint it exactly. But that's around north of, but all this is really the Caldera.
but where they have the calendar of Mart. All right, now on this here on the storms, New York, I think in by the weekend or something, they're looking for a major snowstorm. So you you know you need to get prepared for that if you live over that way. New York needs to get prepared for a lot of things. It's not looking good. Okay, I'll see you all in the next update. So let me see right here. The, let me report these about Forgot 4.4 Iceland. And this is right on the other side, on the north end of the point that's coming out. Instead of on the south end where the volcano eruption is going on or fissures, uh, you know, the crack, it's on the north side. Then we had this one, 4.7 on down below there, and three point one Texas and three point five. So they're doing all that drilling at. And this is Nylon. Nylon, I can't hardly click on it. Two point seven and a 2.9 around Mesa, California, northeast of there, 1.3 miles deep. Okay, we got that 7 plus coming again, and right after we've seen the 7 plus coming, look at all this activity that's piling up. This is not big enough, 5.2, 38.4 miles deep, and a 5.2 Malga Islands region. Northern Marina Islands, and this one up here to Japan is still swarming. Now, when this other seven hits, either we're going to have sixes in other places, a couple of sixes, or we're going to have a big swarm, just like, you know, a lot of aftershocks, just like we got up here on around Japan, the 7.5. So, we got to look at three different ways. Either we're going to get an eruption, or... It's going to be a quake that throws out a lot of aftershocks, just like Japan's are doing. Or, we're going to get a large quake, 7 plus, and then a couple of sixes in different areas. So, you know, you got to look at this different ways. You can't tell exactly what's going to go on when the quake hits. But we, we're expecting it, and that should be within the next four to seven days but three to three to five days is what i look for they say up to seven days when you see the activity moving and sometimes it is but three to five and it's already been one day so now it's uh four up to four days now the cascadia it's letting off pressure and it let off pressure the other day so that one's gonna have to travel it's not hit nowhere so far so that means, I don't know, there's a 5.5, but that's still not good enough. That means that it, it should likely have went around the ring of fire and over this way because it's taken a few days to get there. This is a long ways across the ocean, and earthquakes travel like a car. If you look up uh, earthquakes or roller quakes or talk to somebody about earthquakes, they'll tell you they heard it for miles before it even got there. So, you know, you can... It travels like a car, some faster, some slower, just like a vehicle. Okay, this, not no activity around Africa except for this one. We had 5.1 south of Africa. I think I reported that last night. All right, I'll see you on the next updates. You know, this right here has to happen one day. And pretty soon, there's too much pressure being on it. And the thing about this is when... This, it, over here, putting pressure over here, it's pushing the whole continent up against the Pacific Plate, and then the Pacific Plate up against all this over here on this side, and, you know, all kinds of different plates. You got the, yeah, I can't, you know, can't get into all that. it take too much time, all those plates. But anyway... It's pushing over here and over here. So when this finally locks up, 
and don't give any more, then we're going to see things starting to happen on this side. And most likely on this side because it can't push no more. It's pushing the plates. Okay. Everybody stay safe and we'll be watching.